there was great concern about chicken pox, more so about 10, 15 years ago, because there was a disease called race syndrome. And it seemed to follow chicken pox if we gave aspirin. Some guy figured the sales of aspirin were the highest, were more cases of race syndrome. Pretty smart guy. Mm -hmm. And also knows the flu epidemics, which is around this time of year. And we cut out aspirin. Right. We don't have race syndrome. Either that or there was a virus circulating at that time that's not circulating anymore. We think it was, the, the, the um, link with aspirin seems to be pretty solid. And the replacement of aspirin with acetaminophen to treat fever seems to have made a difference. Um, so that but, we don't but, treat But people don't know what race syndrome, the kids would get a, like a hepatitis, mm -hmm. there was a, cephalitis. That's right, the combination of uh, liver and, and brain inflammation. And there was a death rate. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was scary. Right, and, and after that, there was another scary disease, that uh, a secondary disease, and that was group A strep, so-called flesh-eating bacteria or necrotizing fasciitis, which occurred from infection that could start as a very trivial superinfection of one varicella, one chickenpox lesion, uh, and led to a number, couple of um, uh, almost 100 deaths a year.